Yellow, this is Lobo here. I hope you guys are doing swell today. So for today's video, I have something new. I'm thinking of making a series. I don't know how well it will be received, but I'm thinking of making a series having to do with key moves from characters that you can then try to punish. This is to help beginners that are struggling still with the game and the whole roster that the game has to offer and trying to essentially learn the stronger moves of each character specifically and then learning to punish them. Because I know that it's difficult for new players to basically learn the entirety of each character's list. Hell, even I don't know every particular move in the game and how to properly punish it. This is a game that is mostly a journey learning through every single day if you're playing every single day and learning each particular bit of the character's list of moves and learning how to punish them but i'm just gonna show you the key moves of each character and how to properly punish them that way you don't have to like look over the 100 moves of each character and just learning the ones that you need to learn at the beginning so let's start off So for now, we're going to be using Kazuya. Kazuya will be the first character that we're going to be then demonstrating some of the moves that, the key moves in particular, that you'll need to learn how to punish or block or even evade. So first move, we have the electric. Now, the electric is one particular key move that the Kazuya or just any Mishima in particular they may have the electric can do. It's a very powerful move. It's very execution heavy, of course. Not all players can do this. But you may come across a couple of, you know, macro using players on PC or against players that may have certain controllers that may have access to the ability of macroing attacks like that. The best means to beat the move is to simply duck the move. This is how you beat the electric. Now, it doesn't matter if it's the electric or if it's the regular wind god fist. They're both the same, just that the electric is plus on block, while the other one isn't. It's actually negative on block. As you can see, it's minus 10. You can punish this particular move with your 10 frame move. Now, one way to basically beat the electric without having to block it or by simply ducking it is to sidestep to the right side or sidewalk it to the right side. So, this is one way to beat the move. The next move will be the Hell Sweep. The Hell Sweep is actually very minus on block. It's a low, of course, so if you do manage to block it, you get yourself a free hop kick if your character has one. Or if you do have a type of launching wall standing move you can use, use that instead. One particular way to beat this move is to sidestep or sidewalk it to the left. I do recommend to sidewalk it instead, as sidestepping has to be very perfectly timed just to manage to step the move away. The next key move from Kazuya is his 443. This is a mid move that launches. Now, if you were to block the move, it's minus three. You do take the turn away from the opponent, but you still have to worry about what other moves they may use against you. For example, they could still try to backstep you, or they can try to sidestep you instead. You can also beat this move by simply sidestepping or sidewalking it to the left. Meaning that if the Kazuya decides to go for, let's say, the Hell Sweep or the 404 or 3, which a lot of the Kazuya's like to go for a mix up or a type of Oki setup, if you're knocked down, they will try to mm, basically mix you up with the Hell Sweep and the 404 or 3. So you can beat both moves by simply either sidewalking or sidestepping to the left. The next key move is Forward 4. Forward 4 is one of the strongest type of offensive moves that Kazuya can use in the game. This move is plus 4 on block for Kazuya, allowing him access to continue the pressure. The best means to beat this move is to step to the right. But you can still beat it by side walking to the left if you don't want to go to the right side, or if you're trying to always guess if the Kazuya will go for the Hell Sweep or the 4 4 3 but it's best to step to the right side. One of Kaz's key moves is his Demon's Paw. This is minus nine on block, and if you were to get hit by it, of course, you will end up going through a heat engagement. 
and then you have to guess exactly what the Kazuya would do next. You can beat this move by sidestepping into the left or to the right side. The next key move from Kazuya is his string, down forward 1 into down forward 2. It actually has three variations that Kazuya can then use against you to try to mix you up. The first one is his down forward 1 into down forward 2. This one is safe on block at minus 8. You do get the turn in return, but the opponent can still then attempt to then block whatever other move you will be using against them. The other thing also is that stepping this move on the second hit is impossible, which means that you'll have to block the move if you want to be safe right afterwards. The next string from Kazuya's down forward 1 is the 2 variation. This is a mid into a high. You can actually duck the last hit if you were to go for that particular variation. Allowing you ample time to then launch the Kazuya if he does go for this move. But if it's blocked, it is safe for the Kazuya. The last variation of his down forward 1 is this particular string. This string is down forward 1 into 4. Now, in this case, the move is minus 11, so you can actually punish with a 10 frame or an 11 frame punish. In this case, with Lydia, it could be his for 1, 2, 2. That you can use against the Kazuya. But you can also attempt to duck the move as well. Which again gives you ample time to then punish the Kazuya for going for this particular route. The only issue when you're trying to then block the initial string and the different and variations that the Kazuya would use against you is guessing whether or not it's going to go for the down forward 1 into down forward 2, which is again mid mid, which launches if you do attempt to duck the first and or should I say the last hit of the move. Then if it's the second variation, which is the mid into a high, which is the punch, which heat engages, you have to then duck it. And then the other one, the down forward one into the four, is also a mid into a high as well. So you can kind of option select both of these last variations of the string by simply ducking it. As long as you get the impression that the opponent's going to use these two other moves, just simply duck the move to punish the Kazuya. So that is all. So I hope that this video has helped you. If you liked the video, give the video a like or a dislike if you want to. Subscribe if you want to see more of my shit. And yeah, stay tuned, stay safe.